I'm a harbor pilot up in Penobscot Bay, Searsport, Maine. We're the guys that are responsible for bringing tugboats and tankers safely in and out of the ports of Searsport and Bucksport, and also we uh, pilot cruise ships that come into the port of Bar Harbor. Oh, we use NOAA data daily in our job. I mean, time of slack water, time of high water, time of low water. So yeah, we rely upon NOAA data on a daily basis. For our work, you know, we're relying on it to move the big ships, the tankers, the freighters. About 90% of the total cargo that we bring into the port of Sears, port of Bucksport, is oil-related cargo, petroleum products, anything from gasoline, jet fuel, all the way down to asphalt and heating oil and number six fuel. So um, pretty hazardous stuff. We need to handle it with a great level of care. So the more information that we have about uh, the weather, and the conditions that we're going to be going out in with those vessels, the safer the decisions that we can make when we're moving. Well, the IU system is interesting. We got involved with that because the scientists that were behind it said that they thought there were some practical applications. And when we heard what they could do in terms of measuring wave height, wind speed, wind direction, wave periods, uh, we were all over that. It's like that's hugely important information for us to make the determinations about can we safely go offshore in our small pilot boat to come alongside the big tankers? Is it safe to bring a small tug and barge carrying oil into port or back out to sea in those conditions? So that's where IUS really comes in handy, is you can plan, plan your transits, both arrivals and departures, based on what those forecasts are, what the trends are, and what the actual conditions are that you're observing from the buoys. Before we had this information, we would go offshore, and sometimes, despite the advances in technology, the forecasts aren't quite what they had said. The nice thing about the IOS system is that that's real time. So we can go on and see is the forecast right or are the conditions actually worse than what they had predicted. And we've had some pretty bad trips over the years where boats have gotten broken because of being out in bad weather. So it's very important to us to know what those actual conditions are. The forecast is important, but what's really happening at that time is, is more important. You know, if we have an uh, uh, oil barge that's partly loaded with uh, some cargo, gasoline, diesel, jet, kerosene, and we can look at those buoys and see what the conditions are out there, we know it's not safe, it's a pretty easy sell to the captain to say, hey, you know what, you want to wait 12 hours, it's pretty ugly out right now, here's what's happening. Our boat that gets us on and off these ships is only about a 47-foot fiberglass boat based out of Rockland, the Penobscot pilot. And Captain Jane Ryan, she, uh, she uses those buoys more than anybody I know in terms of figuring out what's going on offshore. Everybody uses it. It's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful asset. All this information, yeah. Because then we can make decisions. We're making informed decisions about lives and property. If we're paying attention. If we pay attention and listen to what the reports are. Otherwise, you just... Line. We would be at a huge disadvantage without the IU system. Uh, every, every once in a while they talk about pulling one or more of those buoys and it really sets off uh, alarm bells in our organization because literally on a daily basis we rely on that information to make sound decisions. If it's gone, we can't make the decisions that we need to make with as good information as we have right now. We have a lot of petroleum that moves up and along this coast and the guys that move those move the vessels hauling or pushing the oil really appreciate having the most up-to-date data.